this structure that is the A380 is quite a sight to behold and quite an aircraft to fly on as well. But all that space means there's a lot of room for airlines to put their own stamp on the aircraft too. Around the world, we've seen a huge variation on the A380 layout with one airline even proposing an all-economy 840-seat layout. Throughout the 14 customers who purchased the A380, each has had its own way of configuring the interior. Thankfully, most have been fairly kind to the passenger, with decent legroom and a fair amount of premium seating. However, one airline wanted to configure the aircraft in the most passenger-unfriendly way. Air Austral did, at one time, have an order for two of the giant jumbos. Not only that, but it planned to outfit them with no less than 840 all-economy seats. The airline planned to use these horrific aircraft to shift people between its Indian Ocean hub and Paris in one of the least comfortable ways possible. Although Air Austral never went ahead with its order for the two A380s, it was assumed there would only be a matter of time before someone went for the maximum passenger capacity. It was with a relief that Airbus announced the end of the A380 project, with still zero orders for the knee-crunching all-economy configuration. So, how many people can you actually fit on board an A380? According to Airbus, the absolute maximum passenger capacity of the A380 is 868 passengers in a single class layout. This would involve seating 538 on the lower deck and 300 on the upper. No airline has yet requested such a layout, and in fact, the current owners of the Airbus A380 don't come anywhere close. Most operators of the type use a three-class layout, which Airbus preferences in its marketing materials as being comfortable at 544 passengers. But even this number is higher than what most airlines choose, with only Air France coming close to that number. Of all the A380s currently in service, the number of passengers carried varies between 379 passengers and 615 passengers. But who squeezes the most passengers onto their A380? Let's take a look. The A380s carrying the most passengers right now belong to Emirates. These specially configured A380s started operating for the Dubai-based carrier en route to Copenhagen, doing away with first and replacing the cabin with more upper deck economy seating. On the 615-seater A380, Emirates offers 437 economy class seats downstairs with no business class seats and no premium economy seats. On the upper deck, there are 120 more economy seats as well as 58 business class seats in a 1-2-1 configuration. The airline with the least A380 seats is Singapore Airlines, which has 379-seat configuration flying right now. The premium heavy aeroplane offers on the lower deck 12 first class seats, 36 premium economy seats and 245 economy positions. Upstairs is a staggered 86 business class seats. If you're looking for first class luxury, Emirates maxes out their number of first class seats at 14. Or on the upper deck, Emirates has no less than 5 seating configurations on board the A380 with a maximum number of first class products. Qantas also flies 14 first class seats on their A380, but other airlines are limited to 12 or less. Of course, it's not just seats that the A380 hosts. Airlines have also been creative in the other ways that they use their spaces. Many feature onboard bars, whilst Emirates notably included showers for its premium passengers. Why Etihad created the residence as well as private prayer rooms. What's your favourite layout of the A380? What cool features have you seen? Let us know down in the comments. And if you like this video, consider clicking the subscribe button.